hello guys and welcome to uh, my second video on uh, straight line reviews. Uh, today I got the maker of my uh, background and all that kind of stuff, my intro, Midnight Club Gamer. Say hello Midnight Club Gamer. What's going on guys, Midnight Club Gamer here. And uh, uh, yeah. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Corvette ZR1. Uh, this car will uh, be the fastest ever production car made by uh, General Motors. It will go... Uh, it's the first Corvette, actually, to go over 200 miles an hour. Uh, what do you think of the styling there, uh, Midnight Club Gamer? Uh, I like the styling. Um, actually, like I like that Corvette right there we're looking at right now. Actually, I like the rims and the way it looks. Um, the Corvette always had a nice style to it. had a real nice muscle car style to it. But, uh, yeah, that, there's nothing really bad I can say about the Corvette. Yeah, like, uh, the only issue with the previous Corvettes was... Uh, you know, going around corners, it have a bit. It would have way too much torque. Uh, wheels would start just spinning like crazy. But uh, I was just reading up, and it actually has one G of uh, cornering force, which is uh, it's that's really really good. So like when you're going around a corner, you can pull a full G. Um, one of these Corvette ZR1s. I don't know if you uh, if you think this is right or not, Ed. But uh, somebody at the Barrett Jackson Auto Show bought one for one million dollars. Do you think it's worth that? For a Corvette ZR1? Um, yeah, I th I, it was like a Mark 1. It was no. like the first one ever made. Oh, first one, one ever. Made. Well, if it's the first one ever made, obviously that's going to add value. Just because it's uh, it's the first one ever made, I guess. But uh, I, I, mean, def I definitely would not buy a Corvette for $1 million, that's all I can say. Yeah, I mean, like, look at the interior. It looks like my Dodge Caravan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't really, I don't, Corvette always made a, uh, not a very, uh, Appealing looking interior, I must say. I really do not enjoy the inside of any Corvette's interior that I've seen so far. Uh, like older style Corvette, like muscle car Corvettes, the older styles, uh, the interiors on those aren't bad. But the, the, for the Corvette, like ZR1 style, the style body like that always has the same interior. Uh, I don't really like it. Yeah, I gotta agree. I mean, it's it's plastic. It's terrible. And, uh, I don't know if you'd be looking at it very much, though, doing 200 miles an hour down the uh, highway. But, I mean, it, yeah, it's it's not up to spec with the overall quality of the Corvette. Um, one cool feature of the Corvette is the uh, six-speed transmission. It, it doesn't go with those flappy paddle gearboxes like Ferrari and all that kind of stuff. You get a traditional stick shift. What do you what do, what do you think you like more? Do you, Would you rather the paddle gear shifting or the stick shift? Uh... That's really hard to say. I'd probably go with uh, paddle shifting for, let's say, if you're doing circuit racing or something like that. But uh, more enjoyability, uh, I think, stick shifting if you're just, like, out on the road and stuff like that. Just a little bit more physical activity with the uh, with the car, I guess. And uh, one thing I must say with the uh, Corvette ZR1 is uh, the interior. You, you said the Corvette ZR1 was supposed to be, like, a supercar? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, well, it is a it, it's a supercar in its numbers. Yeah, but uh, I really find what what always t I when you, when you look at high power cars, the outside looks as good as the inside, and the inside on the Corvette I must say disappoints to me in a lot of ways. It j it just looks like a normal inside of a car you would buy off normal normal dealership, which I really don't like. That's that's one thing I don't like about the Corvette Corvette ZR1. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, like, um, especially where this is, like, a special ZR1, like, it's a special production car. I mean, they could have at least, uh, like, I don't know, like, half that thing's plastic. Like, yeah. that, the console there, it, like, it, it's not even carbon fiber. Yeah. They're, like, trying to make it look like carbon fiber by putting gray plastic on it, I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you'd be looking at that stuff a lot, though, with, like, 638 horsepower coming from your LS9. Oh, well, and, yeah. And you're having to shift the six-speed close close ratio transmission. So, I mean, you'll be pretty busy most of the time. Yeah, well, if if you gave me the choice between a freaking normal production car and a Corvette ZR1, obviously I'd go for the Corvette ZR1. But, I mean, for, for the high quality of, like, a high-power car, like a high-power car, uh, the inside isn't really up to standards to, so, like, high higher-power production cars. Yeah, I totally agree. They gotta, they gotta either, um, you know, they should drop their price isn't that bad. That's that's. Just, I think that's why it's uh, not a really great interior. 
because like this 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 car it isn't cheap. Like it's over. It's, I think it's fifty or sixty, somewhere around that thousand. But I mean that's a lot less than any Ferrari that you can buy. Yeah. So the but the interior really shows that. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. And uh, this is John Pond going out. And this is Midnight Club Gamer. Check me out on my channel. I do uh, gameplays for the PS3. And uh, that'll be it for me. All right. See you guys.